Hi guys, my name is Bill, and in this video I want to show you how to troubleshoot the door locking mechanism on your electric stove. Alright, so this is the Whirlpool stove we're working on, and we're going to troubleshoot the door locking system on the stove. Now the door locking system consists of a few components. Basically, the door lock motor, which is controlled by some relays on the control board, the door switch, a bar that runs from the door lock motor to the latch mechanism on the front of the stove. These are the components that make up the door lock system. Alright, so here's how the system works. When you press the clean button and you hit start, the motor starts to turn, which moves the bar, which slides the actuator over to hook the door. And basically that's how the door locks. Okay, so the first thing we're going to test is the door lock motor. So we're going to connect our leads to the two terminals here that come off the door lock motor. And we're going to set our voltmeter to volts AC. Now we're going to test the voltage going to the lock motor by starting a clean cycle. So we'll hit clean, hit start. And we have 120 something volts going to the lock motor. And that tells us the relays on the control board are good. Now if we cancel the clean cycle, it's going to turn the motor back on. And the door is unlocked. Now if you have a good light bulb in your stove, this is the easiest way to check the door switch. If the door switch is not pressed in or if the switch is bad, the locking mechanism will not lock the door because the stove thinks the door is open so it's not going to lock. So that could be one of your problems right here. But if you press that in and your light goes out, then that's definitely not your problem. So that's why we tested the lock motor for voltage. There's also a little micro switch on the locking motor with a cam assembly here that tells the basically tells the control board with these two these two wires that come off here, these two blue ones basically tells the control board when the latch is in the left position and when the latch is in the right position, basically when it's locked and unlocked so that's what the purpose of that is now to test the switch I've hooked my meter up to the two leads coming off the switch and I set my meter to beep when there's a completed circuit so I take a flathead screwdriver and press in on the little button. So that tells me that this switch is good. So basically that's how you troubleshoot the parts, there's not really a whole lot to it. We verified voltage came from the relay down to the motor, the switch was good, and the, uh, and the door switch itself on the front of the stove was good. Alright guys, so there's your video on troubleshooting the locking mechanism on an electric stove. So this stove here was a Whirlpool, and they're all basically going to be the same. We're pretty close. So this should help you troubleshoot and get your stove back up and running. Well, I want to thank you for watching, and good luck on your repair.